Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to reduce input delay and fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. The tweaks shown inside of this video are really easy and simple to follow and will optimize your PC to get the maximum number of FPS in Fortnite possible for your hardware. A quick disclaimer that applying these tweaks won't do magic and your Intel integrated graphics won't get like crazy 200 FPS. However, this is going to get you the best results for your PC regarding its performance. As you guys know that making these videos really takes a lot of time and effort and it will only take you guys 2 seconds to like the video. It will really mean a lot to me and also if you guys are new here then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the brand new optimization guides whenever I upload them. So with all of that out of the way, let's get this video started. So starting off with the optimizations, we are going to be turning off the low latency mode. Low latency mode as the name applies lowers the latency of the games that you play. This feature is really useful however it can cause some stuttering by increasing the amount of processed frames especially on low end hardware. So I highly recommend low end PC users to disable this and for others I recommend you test both on and off and never ever use the ultra option. In order to do that go down to your desktop and right click on it. Then click on the Nvidia control panel. And once this window opens up make sure that you are on the adjust image settings with preview and then make sure that use the advanced 3D image settings is checked. Then click on take me there and once you guys are here then scroll down till you can find the low latency mode and then just go ahead and set it to off. After that hit apply and then you can close out of this. Disabling the background apps is another fast and easy way to boost your PC performance. Background apps always use way more CPU and memory resources than they actually require making your games lag a lot more and also cause FPS drops. So in order to disable the background apps, first off you want to make sure that everything in the taskbar is closed. That could be your Discord, Google Chrome, Spotify or any other program that you are not using at the moment. Just go ahead and close it out of the taskbar and after you guys have done that, go down to your start menu, click on it, then click on the settings and once this opens up, go into the privacy tab and scroll all the way down till you can find the background apps. Go ahead and click on it and then make sure that let apps run in the background is turned off and after that you can go ahead and close out of this window as well. Disabling notifications will not only get rid of all the annoying notifications popping up while you are gaming but also free up some CPU usage that can be utilized by your game for a better and smoother gaming experience. Notifications are really not that important anyways and they are best disabled. So head down to your start menu and search for notifications. Go ahead and open it up. And then make sure that notifications are turned off and all of the checkboxes under it are also unchecked. Once you guys have done that, go down to the focus assist and make sure that this is turned off as well. After turning off both notifications and focus assist, go down to storage and make sure that you guys have turned off the storage sense as well. Storage sense is actually a feature designed to help you free up some space automatically when you are running low on storage, which does seem really useful and it is, but not so much for gamers. You see when it runs its process in the background to clear up some space, it causes high CPU usage and Fortnite is a very CPU bound game. This process can cause major FPS drops and overall low FPS while you are playing Fortnite. So that is the reason we disabled it. Before moving on and tweaking more, we are going to be creating a restore point just to make sure that we can revert all of the changes applied after it back to their defaults just in case that this guide doesn't work for some of you guys. So in order to do that, head down to your start menu and search for create a restore point. Go ahead and open it up and once this window opens up, click on the drive where you guys have installed your windows and click on configure. Make sure that system protection is checked and set the max usage to around 5%. Then hit apply, hit ok and then click on create. You can go ahead and name it anything, I'm just gonna name it backup and then hit create and now you have successfully created a restore point. Once you guys have successfully created a restore point, go down into the description of this video and download the Fortnite Caesar 4 optimization pack by Recnetic. This is going to contain all of the tweaks that we are going to be applying in order to reduce the input delay and fix FPS drops in Fortnite. You guys will need 7-zip or Winra to extract the pack so go ahead and use either one of those to extract it. And inside of here you can find different files but we are going to be applying the 3 registry files first of all. So for the first one that is the disable power throttling, it is going to help you guys get rid of power issues while you are gaming and also reduce the chances of thermal throttling. Then moving on to the next one that is the game optimizations, it is going to prioritize our GPU for the games so we can get better FPS and also better and smoother gaming experience. 
for the last one that is the input delay reduction it is basically going to apply the tweaks in order to get us one to one mouse response and get the maximum reduction of input delay so once you guys have applied all of these registry files then right click on the advanced cache cleaner and make sure to run it as admin this is going to clear all of the cache files in our system not only clearing up some space but also boosting the overall performance of our pc by getting rid of all of that junk cache files this may take some time depending on the amount of cache you have and on your pc specs as well so be patient about that but once it completes its task then go ahead and open up the cmd commands notepad just copy all of the commands inside of here and then go down to your start menu then search for cmd and make sure to run this as admin right click in the cmd to paste all of those commands and then press enter after that you can close out of the cmd and after that copy the intelligence standby list cleaner somewhere on your desktop then go ahead and open it up and run the intelligent standby list cleaner application file After that it's going to be minimized in the taskbar so just go ahead and open it up from there and once it opens up then go ahead and set the, the list size is at least to 1024 and the free memory is lower than 2 half the size of your total system memory. So just divide that number by 2 and set, put that number inside of the free memory is lower than box. Then make sure that start ISLC minimized and launch ISLC on user login are checked and after that set the ISLC polling rate to 1000. Then make sure that wanted timer resolution is set to 0.50 and enable custom timer resolution is checked. After doing all of that go ahead and click on start and now minimize the ISLC. Keep it running in the background while you are playing the game because it won't work otherwise. Once you guys have played your game and close out of the game then go ahead and open it up from the taskbar. Click on stop and now you can close out of this. Next up head down to your start menu one more time and this time search for advanced system settings. Go ahead and open it up and under the advanced tab click on the settings then select the adjust for best performance. We are going to be checking two of the things inside of here that will be show thumbnails instead of icons and then smooth edges of screen font. That is all you guys need. This is going to make the windows look a bit worse and not visually appealing I guess. But this is going to help you guys get a lot better performance and a lot more FPS in the games that you play. Once you guys have done that, go into the advanced tab and then click on the background services. After that, click on the programs once again just to make sure that our PC is providing the processor resources to our programs and not the background apps. After that, hit apply, hit ok and then go into the remote tab. Then make sure that allow remote assistant connection to this computer is checked and then click on the advanced button. Once you guys have done that, make sure that this box is unchecked, hit OK and after that uncheck the first box as well, hit apply, hit OK and now we have successfully applied this tweak. So those were all of the optimizations inside of this video and I really hope that this video helps each and every one of you guys. If you guys have made this far into the video then you guys are true legends because most of the people have already clicked off of the video. If you guys did make it this far then make sure to leave a sweet comment down below with the hashtag BurgerGamer for a shout out in the next video. and also make sure to leave a like down below these videos really take a lot of time to put together and it will only take you guys two seconds to like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here and want more of the optimization guides and now i'm going to be rolling the shout outs from the previous video but just keep in mind that you are awesome you're the best at what you do and you always have the potential to improve with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome